The nest was located in a large ficus tree, seven and a half feet up from the ground. Let me introduce you to Tinker and Belle and Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy carefully feeds her chicklets as a good mother should. They are so small and fragile. Four days old now and they have no feathers. Now eight days old. Tinker is on the left, and he is much larger than Bell. Miss Kathy is a great mom and continues to feed her chicklets. She covers them with her body to keep them warm. They are so small and fragile. They are naked, and their eyes are not developed yet. Still eight days old, and their feathers are beginning to form. They are growing and are always in search for food. Miss Kathy continues to feed them on an hourly basis. Ten days old and their pin feathers are filling in. They raise their tail feathers as they will not foul in their own nest. What goes in must come out. Tinker in the foreground is so much larger than Bell. Notice his beak is much longer than Bell's. Twelve days old now, and Miss Kathy continues to feed the chicklets. Tinker takes her offerings first and feeding has now become a routine. They both take a lot of Miss Kathy's beak. I call it jackhammering as the food goes down. Tinker is still forward in the nest, and they look like two peas in the pod. The food that comes in must go out. Still, at 12 days old, notice their eyes are starting to develop. They are now covered by flower mites. The bugs are intense now. Question. 
Do the flower mites help with the maturing of their feathers? Now 14 days old and Tinker's eyes are now open. And Miss Kathy was always on guard for danger. Her chicklets look healthy and are constantly waiting for food. Now 16 days old. You can now see the development of their wings. Tinker is now on top of Belle and fighting for dominant position. Belle now head down, possibly struggling for air. Miss Kathy does her routine feeding. Tinker is still forward and the first to feed. Miss Kathy always scolded me after the feeding of her chicklets. I noticed a large hole in the nest, and I could actually see daylight showing between the two birds. Tinker is now on top of Belle and pushing Belle down toward the weak spot in the nest. Tinker is now more mature than Belle. Nineteen days old now and Belle has disappeared. I think Tinker was a stinker and he forced Belle through the hole. The hole in the nest was much larger than I thought. Belle was found dead a few hours later. Tinker's breast feathers are now protruding through the hole in the nest. And Tinker was still hanging on for his own life. Tinker is now 20 days old and Kathy Payne was determined not to let Tinker fall through the hole in the nest either. Kathy Payne wrapped cellophane and inserted cocktail toothpicks around Tinker's nest. I wasn't sure if Miss Kathy would continue to feed her one and only baby, but she did. Miss Kathy continued to scold me again. Oh my, look at all the flower mites on Tinker. 